Hey guys, welcome back. Ah, uh, like I said in the previous video, shit. Tracking remnant architects. Ooh, remnant. Um, we're gonna go head back to the Nexus. So let's get out of this. Scan for shit. There's nothing. Oh, you can't scan for shit here. As you can see, we got a lot more. Um, <laughs> Per five per system. There are more systems unlock Haval here. Uh, of course, we have some missions that we need to do, but I'm gonna do that later on. Vault is 100%. I'll probably check out the systems first before I go to Haval. I need to go and talk to Aya, but before that, as promised, gonna go talk to people to Nexus. There's a lot of things to clear here. Oh, we can skip this, right? Bioware, you lied. You lied. <clears throat> Alright. Scan first. For any anomalies, nothing. Shit to the Nexus. This is the one where I can skip. Alright, tap. Skip. It almost looks like a Citadel. Nothing. Okay, let's go in. <coughs> As you can see, there's a lot of quests. <coughs> can I skip this? Come on, land ready. Cool. Okay. Let's see what we have. Let's find Spender on the Nexus right next to us. Watch your tone. You saw what happened to the Krogan. But we need this equipment. Well, you're not getting it. Stop <laughs> making frivolous requests. It's not a frivolous request. Properly functioning air filters are at... Frivolous. You'll just have to make do. We can't fix the station breathing bad air. Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. What do you want? Whatever's going on, it's not fair to take it out on me. Apologies, you're right. This is not your fault. I haven't heard much good about that guy. Whatever you've heard, it's not half as bad as the reality. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away. <laughs> Treating people like scum when no one's hmm. watching. Maybe there's something I can do? A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. We need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. Alright, then I guess I have to find cash. Let's look at what else we can do while we're here. Hydroponics. Meet Jill at the Vortex. Okay. Yeah, I should probably do that. Let's look at the um, stores that we have. I don't care what you do. I don't know about these. Whoa, it's the Pathfinder. It's me. You're the one who befriended these strange new people, these Angara, and now they're here, on the Nexus. How do we know we can trust them? I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. Good advice. I will. 
They have Angara here? Hmm. Let's see, look at the stores. Vehicle merchant. Whew. Paint job. Ooh, this looks so cool. <laughs> Shit. Definitely. No, no, no. Definitely getting this. Oh yeah, I need to sell off some stuff. Let's sell off Revenant. I've, uh, yeah. I did, uh, after mining, I think I did say, I, I did do some research and stuff. So I have, I'm using the Avenger now. Nice to see you again. Mods. I think that's all she has. Mods, 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 Falcon is a fucking launch grenade launcher. Hmm. Okay, nothing much. Pathfinder scout armor. If I'm not wrong, I'm using this right scout helmet. I'm using the helmet. Yeah, so why not just buy the rest? Weapon accuracy. Okay, I'm gonna buy the rest. Confirm. Thank you. Let's get um find Jill. Is that Suvi? Hey, let's play some poker. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Gus vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Don't. Alright? You can deal first. Having fun? Getting my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know. Jill and Gil. She must be a glutton for punishment. That's her. That's how I know she'll always be there. Jill's a fatality expert. Head of the initiative CRC. My only real friend back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Growing our numbers is paramount to our survival here. Sure. That's Jill's purpose. I'm not just going to adopt it. See what I did there? I'm not just going to adopt it. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> you should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. I fooled. The one for me then. Well, that's that. You win. I've achieved my true purpose in life. What will I do now? Congratulations. Good game. You two. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Can't wait to tell her she was wrong. Another streak intact, I'll say. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. I thought we would actually be playing poker. Alright, so anyway, doesn't matter. We've already we are clearing clearing our missions is important. Sprint our way to Yeah, meet spend uh, cash for spender. Alright, um Suit things one by one. Let's clear whatever we can in operations then go to the other side. Beep, 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 beep. Oh yeah, it's uh, Labor Day weekend, I think. 
it's Labor Day weekend here, May first. So happy Labor Day or whatever you call it. Whatever else. I told you she fell. The doc says that break is a textbook case of being hit by hearts. Just running around to see who else I can talk to. Oh yeah. Let's finish this off. Pathfinder. Were you a journalist back in the Milky Way? I was. Sort of. Only had a couple internships under my belt. Good places, though. The New Star Chronicle even sent me to Mars for a week. The plan was just to work as a reporter out here. Then the uprising happened. We got a little too close. My editor was killed. Tan blamed our broadcasts for stirring unrest. It was bullshit. Now all I want to do is keep going. It must be difficult to set up a broadcast from scratch. No, it's easy. Beyond the lack of staff, resistant authorities, and constant technical glitches. Still, I'm getting there. May have an honest-to-goodness source in Nexus security, if she ever calls me back. Who's your source? No journalist worth their salt will ever give that up. Why is it that everybody later, is a sarcastic prick in this game? Hmm? Somebody tell me that. Why is everybody a sarcastic prick in this game? Oh, let's do that. That's not what I wanted to do. Download archive system. Okay. Scan her ass. Flat. Ass. Hi. What work do you do here? Oh, I just monitor comms from colonists. Progress updates, hazards encountered. Note it down, pass on a report to Sean at the end of the day. Important job. I know. It's nice to hand in a report and have someone say I helped. I'll let you get back to work. She's the supposedly my fangirl. Militia office. Let's check on our strike team missions. In progress. In progress. Okay. Uh, I did promise that I'll talk to people, so I'm gonna talk to all these people here. Hey, Ryder. I'd like a moment. Yes, Lieutenant Syax, right? That's me. I'm putting together Apex strike teams to protect the people and assets you're setting up out there. We don't have a good sense of what we're up against, and could benefit from your experience. I'll have Sam upload our insights on the cat, remnant, and outlaw forces we've encountered. Thanks. You'll see. Apex will make a difference. Alright, cool. Thanks for understanding about the outpost and the protesters. You don't strike me as the political type. I'm not. Just keeping everyone alive maybe those protesters will eventually understand too it's done I don't want to think about it need something else oh, I actually talked to it before bye Kandros duty calls you and me both Pathfinder okay let's find cash let's stop stalling and find cash do, 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 do. hello what is it you're out there, facing the cat. We hear only rumors making them out to be monsters. Maybe they just don't understand us. Do you think peace could ever be possible? The cat seems set in their ways. So it would be up to us to change? If they have their way, they'll change us into them. That's what they do. Oh, I see. We must continue the fight then. Thank you for your time. So many people concerned about fucking feelings. Fuck all of you. Is that Drag? Hello, Drag. I'm worried about this place if they can't find you. That's all we can do here. You just keep the Pathfinder safe and the cat easy. And Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Hijack's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? 
Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the Exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Kenlos. He likely has security footage, of some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. Right, Nothing I've talked to him before. Later. Ah, yeah, I haven't talked to the captains and stuff, so I'm gonna go up and, and talk to them later. But let's finish this first. I'd like to get an asshole out of the ship, if I can. So that's what the kid are up to. Transforming people into willing slaves. Now we know why they take so many prisoners. Well, they sure as hell not taken anymore. I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but... You know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security vid archives? Thank you. Anything else? Thank, Bye, Kandros. Duty thank calls. goodness the you right people actually outside. like me. If not, I'm gonna have to shoot up this whole fucking place. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Fuck. Huh, this file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. Wait, is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this back. It'll help us. Don't think. I am sorry, Pathfinder. This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily degraded. Someone may have deleted the original, and this version was restored during a system-wide reset. Sounds like a cover-up to me. I concur. While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kadara. How do you figure? In common parlance, lip-reading. I do not recognize the location from any current data. It appears mountainous and populated. We will need to find the planet before I can confirm. I will contact you via my node. Let's go confront him. Spender should be over here. Now I have to talk to Director Tan or so. Before I talk to Spender, let's that's that that's that motherfucker over there. Let's talk to this guy. Pathfinder? No, 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 no. Another time. Pathfinder. What am I supposed to do here? Do, 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 talk to Edison and Assistant do, 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 Lito. Oh, okay. Let's talk to Edison first. Pathfinder. How are we doing on the viability front? Aiming for success. It sounds pat, but you're living up to the job. Thank you. I've been digging, and there are serious concerns about Spender. And this relates to your job as Pathfinder how? It relates to your job. Right. I've had a year and a half of doing everything with nothing. A thousand people riding me. Spender, shit as he is, helps. So, Pathfinder, if you've accusations to make, be certain. I'll drop trouble like a hot rock, but I can't lose people over suspicions. We don't have the people left. How has the Nexus reacted to the foothold I've established? People are eager to help. The shortages are obvious. But you're turning it to inspiration. There's so much beneath Vold. Some are calling it beautiful, but not when I'm around. Poetry remains off limits. I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of Cryo. Did you forget the stink that playing favorites has already caused? Look, you're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? Suck my dick, you son of a bitch. You bitch. Collect all my rewards. Just 
talk to Braca. Pathfinder? Why do some colonists have a number letter designation? All initiative members do. In a CV file somewhere, anyway. It isn't relevant when everyone is doing everything. I suppose it's like uh, caring about the middle name. Do you not know yours? I wasn't aware I had one. Hmm. You were in select company even before you were made Pathfinder. Or rather, Pathfinder. Specialist designation A04 Malapa. Something interesting? An A and low odds. Mm, someone's an early adopter. Why'd you join the initiative? I was a teacher. A good life. I could see the positives and negatives right through to the end. You did the math and it said, come to Andromeda? <laughs> no. I just didn't like being able to see the end. Here, I don't have a clue what tomorrow will bring. Feels more like living. Oh, I've already done that. Yes, Pathfinder. What's your take on the state of the initiative? Please consult the AVP interface. It has a thorough breakdown of your progress. And your personal opinion? Your progress thrills me. Make my job obsolete, Pathfinder. I dare you. <laughs> I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation is available. I heard that the chief engineer on EOS went back into cryo. There have been a few such requests. The first few months in Helios were... disheartened me. Now that Prodromos is on track, I want her redeployed. Chief Engineer Grace Lito, designation E-97 Durango. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Another time. Pathfinder. Alright, that's done. Let's talk to that bitch. Spender and Anderson must be sucking each other's off. Sucking each other off. The mutiny rider, is it? William Spender. Apologies if we met before. I meet a lot of people running colonial affairs. Running colonial affairs? I thought you were the assistant director. That's right. Assistant to Addison. So we know who does all the real work. From what I've heard, your hands are pretty dirty. I saw the footage. You were handing something off? What footage? From Gavorkum? Routine business meeting. Whoever you're talking to clearly has an axe to grind. And frankly, a Pathfinder shouldn't be wasting time in a witch hunt. You'd be wise to let this be. Are you fucking... Threatening me, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna get him. Yeah, let's talk to Director 10. Hello, Pathfinder. The fucker rebuilt his office. Waking up, it's a fresh start. Third time's a charm, if you happen to have a Pathfinder around. Can't always rely on luck. From here, it's hard work. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Okay. Anything new, Mr. Ten? Congratulations are in order. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. Given how the Ked are treating us, we can't afford any more enemies. Yes, this exaltation business is alarming. We are not equipped for war. Which makes Aya a welcome discovery. I hope rescuing the Moshe leads to stronger ties between our people. Did you have some other business? Hmm, nothing. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm <laughs> here to serve. <laughs> it I actually read that for thanks. Thanks for wasting my time. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna go out, get out of this, fuck, and head to uh, operations. Yeah.
No, 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 operations. This is operations. Fuck. Mention in the security of this. Let's hit the same note. And hopefully, I can see my sister. What the fuck? Okay, this is. Operations here. Docking bay is the Tempest. Okay, let's go to habitation deck. Right, um, here, okay. Why are you crouching down? Do you have a stomach ache? This is the bitch that scolded me, right? Set my dick. Okay, anything here? Anybody I can talk to? Nobody cares. Atrium. Let's talk to Lani. Pathfinder. What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mindwar colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind. But I have friends here too. I love piloting. But I like the idea of going back to my roots, farming like my parents did. Someday. How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know it's a rose-colored outlook, but even with everything that's going on, someone's got to keep the buzz to be coming, right? Positivity okay. doesn't help. See you later. Talk to you later. Real work helps. Okay, I see some objective markers, so like, let's go. Oh, that's Sam Nut, okay. Let's go in Sam Nut. Pathfinder, be advised the Angaran AI from Vault is now active. A writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. I mean the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam, we use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an M7 anymore. That doesn't mean we... They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ella. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Mom was practical. Living in denial wasn't going to solve anything. Yet Alec didn't see it that way. He persisted. Logic goes out the window when your wife is dying. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you two. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. 
Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh... You're both looking... taller. Yeah, Dad. That does tend to happen. Right, right. I know. So, um... I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Oh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. Wait, I thought they found the ruins on Mars a long time ago. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. People get busy. Sarah and I were trying to start our lives. A course that seems to have been influenced by your father. Yeah. Good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Okay, let's just talk about I take this. it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. Alright, um... Let's done new Sam, let's go and see the locks. Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were pathfinding your father's personal logs. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Corian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was digging a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Horse, the Geth saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their 
superiors. And they resented it. Ryder, Barney Bond says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the shadow broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I got people. People with guns. Okay, so the other locks are still encrypted. Um, but that's okay. Are we done? I think we are done here. There's nothing else for us here. Right. Ryder, this new station leadership I'm hearing about finally let you out of their sight? Looks like. Took them long enough. Will you be bringing Hyperion folks out of stasis? Whoever is most needed for the outposts gets priority. You know, the big win will be when we're able to wake up entire families at once. <laughs> That's when I'll know things have taken a turn for the better. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Why did you join the initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. <laughs> what self-respecting explorer could pass that up? Thanks for the talk. Sure thing. Okay, I guess that's it for... <clears throat> This uh, Hyperion Atrium, or Hyperion Operations. Let's get to Cold Storage. See where I can talk to my sister, which is kind of weird. The previous time I was. Not Cold Storage, Cryo Bay, fuck. The previous time I was here, I. Um, there was no way to find her. Or oh, you're just an idiot. I think I'm just an idiot, yeah. Boy, Pathfinder, today has not been a good day. Why is that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for the outposts you've started was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That would be great. Thanks. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. All right. Ryder, that was a hell of a thing talking to your sister in a coma. Can't say I really bought into the whole sand and plant. Oh, I did talk to her. Yeah. That was pretty amazing. I don't know. The whole thing was strange. I know what you mean, but everything seems weird at first. There was a time when my profession thought germs were a crazy idea. It just takes getting used to. And if it can help my patients, I'll keep an open mind. So you and Lexi swapped jobs? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. So it made sense that Lexi and I switched places. She's younger. Well, for a sorry. They're still teenagers when they're 200. And she's one hell of a doctor. She'll serve the Tempest well. What will you do on the Hyperion? We still have thousands of people taking a nap here, and they need tending to. And this way I can look out for Sarah. 
How's Sarah doing? <laughs> well, hearing that your dad's dead in the new home is a puzzle that was stressful. But I don't think there was any permanent damage, not physically at least. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know. There she is, okay. Is there something that I need to do here? I guess not. <coughs> Look at the journal. Meet with Lelis on vote. Secret project. Nexus apartment. Where is that? Vote. Missing arcs. Find that in a So Haval, I still got things to do on Vol anyways. Let's stop. Let's find this. PB P PB shit. Yeah, whatever. Nexus Apartments. So we finished the docks. Oh, so her, her apartment's in the docks. Okay, cool. <laughs> then I think that'll be it for the Nexus, and we'll head on back to Vol. Come on, area, common area. It's upstairs here. Oh, I, I yeah, I forgot that they open up some new stuff after our upgrades. Unlocking. Come on in. Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Hmm. Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? Have Suvi and Gil look it over. If it checks out, bring it aboard and fast track the combat model. Okay. I guess I understand your skepticism. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant, who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Don't be so condescending, babe. This is Peavy's place, and you're trespassing. I'd say that warrants a little hostility. Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, want to talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. But how can you give all this up? Ha! Huh. Watch me. Easy come, easy go. Remnant 6 on the... Hmm, cool. I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. Okay. Skills. 
Got lots of skills to upgrade, I'm not gonna do it now. I'm having a bit of a headache. Headache. Okay, uh let's look at our journal again. <coughs> so it's on hold. On hold. Uh we've done that. We need to go to Vol. Two two things to go to Vol. You know what? Let's can I do a Tempest excavation? Uh, excavation. Extraction here, no. Yes, yeah, head back to the Tempest. I think I'll end the video there. Um, probably head to Vault first. Here, right? Oh, yeah. Return to Tempest, okay, cool. And we can head on to <coughs> Volt. Clear out Volt. Uh, those two things at Volt. Can I skip this? Fuck! Why can't I skip this? I've been playing, there's been like 40 plus videos of this game, and it's. We're still not really halfway through yet. I've been very thorough in my gameplay. But I really like to do that, like, check every, every corner out. Pick everything apart. <coughs> no, 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 no. Okay, yeah. I was about to say before. Before I do anything, let's just talk to a few people. Talk to Liam, okay. I take it you moved your stuff over from the Nexus? Yeah, my squatter's paradise is all the more cluttered. What's up? Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust, an ambassador, respected. Living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm so grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Alright, where's Liam again? Keep forgetting where they are. Let's check the map. Suvi, Kello, Jill, level f level one. Sam, Sam. Ah. Chao, Cora, Liam. Oh yeah, because I have that movie thingy here. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? Why is that on your mind? Jill. The best friend I mentioned while I was thrashing you at poker. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. You got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda initiative, it... We're basically here to spawn. It took you this long to figure that out? I told you. I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Eesh. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. Uh. Shit. There are other I'm ways distracted. to reproduce. It doesn't have to come from a romantic relationship. I guess I could donate DNA or however it works. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. 
I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gun moved on before I was born. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Hey, I turned out all right. He did his part. Brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. I actually do not want to talk to you, and what the fuck was that? I want to go and see Liam finish up missions. Does that make me a completionist? I think it does. I don't like having journal entries or missions unfinished. Yeah. Why are you always undressed? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Looks like you're stressed. I don't want to add to it. No, wait. It's it's just... When will Helios realize what it takes? It can't steal what people are. Hitting that facility on Vol should have united us. So I reached out. Trying to get resources moving in a real way and bridge that gap like I did with Jar. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, I, uh, everyone is all can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. Liam, we're not from here, and never will be. But we are here. We can't always be strangers, there's no room. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it, it has to be normal. I need something familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything from the Milky Way? One or two things. But the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family worked here together weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. I doubt a transport would have a post-light drive. It won't be here for... what? 2.3 million years at standard light speed. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. We do what we do. It doesn't always have to make sense. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. Truth. <laughs> this will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. I thought I was supposed to just do that freaking movie thingy. Not talk to you about feelings. Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um, felt really good. Anything I can do for my team, Liam. Stuff like that goes above and beyond Pathfinder. At least I hope so. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship. Like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on. But mostly, it's a day out. Something familiar. Turns out I need that. What about that movie thing? I got a copy of the Nexus's movie ah, library. Ah, finally. Thanks. I'll look through it. It's probably all agricultural learning vids, but there might be something good. I'll keep you posted. Okay. <laughs> But, alright guys, uh, it's taking too long. I'm going to stop it here for now. The next time we are out, we will definitely be on our way to Vo to settle all the other things. So, yes, Skate Counter signing out. I'll see you guys when I see you. Cora, you in my shot. Fuck off.